Welcome back to DBL. Courts are some of the most heated rooms a person can be in, but what happens when the accused takes the witness stand? Earlier, Tori now spoke with Dan Abrams to talk about his new show, Under Oath, which seeks to answer that very question. That's today's DBL Spotlight. Dan Abrams, it is always a pleasure. Welcome back to DBL. We cannot wait to talk to you about your new show, Court Cam Presents Under Oath. First of all, great title. But first, we just want to pick your brain a little bit because we love it so much on the show about the state of law enforcement in America today. So I just want to ask a question our viewers have. Derek Chauvin's lawyer has filed a motion for a new trial arguing that some errors were made that violated Mr. Chauvin's rights. And we all wanted to know, according to you, how likely is it that Derek Derek Chauvin will get a new trial. I think it's very unlikely uh, he'll get a, a new trial. Um, you know, this is a, a fairly typical appeal. Um, I think this judge was was pretty careful um, in his rulings. I think that the the one issue a lot of people have been talking about was about this juror, yeah. where there was a picture of him um, at a um, at an event um, with his family. And, you know, the, the question is not going to be, was this juror, you know, sort of inclined to one side or another? It's going to be, did the juror lie right. in the context of right. jury selection? And his position is, I didn't, when I was asked the question, did I think it was, I, I've been, had I been in a police protest? I didn't think of it as a police protest. I thought of it as an MLK celebration. Right. And the key is going to be, in a separate question, he was asked, what do you think of Black Lives Matter? And he said he had a very... Um, he, a very positive view of it. That's going to help him because it seems honest. Yeah, right. And as a result, I don't think that there's going to be any any action taken. That's good to hear. Yeah, well, uh, you know, this uh, this next question is such a, I wouldn't say loaded question, but such a deep question. I don't know why we would have any after this, but uh, how would you recommend that police departments rebuild their relationships with local communities? Well, look, I think a lot of the, the, the proposals out there make a lot of sense. I mean, having police officers who live in the communities, I think can be very valuable. I think that that's, I think that's very important. All right, let's talk court cam. Tell us about the show in general. The new series is called Court Cam Under Oath, which is all about defendants who take the witness stand in their own defense. And when a defendant takes the witness stand in their own defense, the case all then comes down to the credibility of that person. And it's very rare yeah, right. for defendants to take the witness stand in their own defense. And there's a reason for that, because prosecutors are very tough on defendants who take the witness stand in their own defense. So what makes this series so 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 compelling, I think, is that you get to see the defendant explaining why he or she didn't do it or he or she shouldn't be responsible. And you also hear from the juror and, and the prosecutor and the defense as to what they're thinking. I want to just know from Dan Abrams' point of view, if you could be a prosecutor on a cross-examination or a defense attorney, which is your favorite? Which would you prefer to be? Do you like to go for the jugular or? I'd rather be a pros prosecutor. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the prosecutor is the more interesting one when the when the defendant is testifying. Because, look, it's, it's interesting because the, the defense will question their witness. And, you know, a lot of the time you come out of it, you say, oh, wow, huh. That sounds like a pretty uh, interesting explanation, seems plausible. And then the prosecutor will come up and poke all sorts of holes in it and say, oh, wait, oh, now, okay, now I get it. Um, and so I, I think that's why being the prosecutor in these cases can be, can be more interesting. Be sure to catch Dan's new show, Court Cam Presents, Under Oath. It's on tonight on A&E. We'll be right back. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan.